All right. Um, I'm going to get started on this today. And uh, this is probably going to be I'm going to probably going to be a short video because all I'm going to be doing today is just kind of refining the edge down a little bit. So it's just going to be a lot of um, tweaking here and there. I'm going to be using my Fordham with this real aggressive uh, cuts all burr here and uh, probably a sanding drum so um, so there's not gonna be a whole lot of technique so I'm just gonna show some progression shots and uh, I may talk through a little bit of it but um, so I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet today I do have my um, my mount out here that I'm gonna keep in front of me here as reference and um, so I'm gonna get camera turned around and get started on this and uh, like I said I'm gonna keep it short and sweet today you say I'm gonna be looking I've got the I've got the bass the mounted bass right here so I'll just kind of be looking back and forth and uh, checking the eye checking the position of the gills and the in the body in the mouth probably need to go get my pattern and and draw the pattern back on but I know about where I want to go so I'm going to get started here I'm going to stop here for a minute and uh, go get my patterns and draw them on and then and just keep taking this down further and further so I'll be back in a minute okay looking at the pattern I've got to come down a little bit more on the back and I think I'm pretty close on the rest of it so I'm gonna work on bringing this back down just a little bit and then uh, and start rounding it back off and so I can tell by looking at this side I, I drew a little line here so I'm gonna bring this one roughly the same over here So I'm going to take it down, it needs to come down a good quarter of an inch or so. So let me get started on that. one of those ones where you just take your time and I sneak up just kind of I like to say you just sneak up on that pattern don't try to do it all at once I always start off bigger on the patterns and then kind of work my way down to it and um, that way if I want to if I do want to leave it a little bit bigger I have the room to do it but I also have the room to take it further down that makes sense and even though I drew that line there off the pattern 
I'm not going to go all the way to the line. I'm going to stop just about an eighth of an inch shy of it and round it off and then uh, check the pattern again. And I kept looking earlier, um, the mouth seemed out of shape and it didn't seem big enough for the body. So this is gonna help eliminate that. Um, it's gonna make it, it's gonna make the fish feel a little bit smaller and the mouth a little bit bigger, if that makes sense. Now I'm going to start, you see it, I kind of flattened that off. So I'm going to start rounding it back into the body here. There's always one place, and it doesn't matter how I situate the grain, there's always one place where the grain is a little bit harder and it wants to scallop a little bit. And it's such a pain in the butt to get out. Um, but that's just part of it. I don't know if you can see that. It just it wants to scallop a little bit. It's just where the grain is starting to turn here. So, but a little bit of sand in it and I can get it out. This is where this bass mount comes in handy because I can kind of see the texture of the gills here, which way they turn and twist. So they're kind of flat here. Let's see what that looks like. It's a beautiful day here. The problem is the 
uh, wind is crazy and the pollen is going berserk out here. And a hummingbird feeder just fell. Oh, that needs to go down some more. Now, are you scared, buddy? My dog is out here. I <laughs> don't know what to think about all the noise. All right, it's going to come down a little bit more on the head here. And you come down quite enough. I'm good on the back. I'm good right here but it needs to come down a little bit more here. So. Do that. I'm gonna take that down and I'll be right, I'll be back to you once I get all that shaped up. Okay, I have uh, got this pretty much shaped the way I want it and I've drawn on the head and gill pattern and I need to um, I need to make just a little bit of adjustment on the gill plate and and then I need to do the other side and there's some there's some depth in these pockets right here just where it just cups in let me show you on this uh, mount here so if you can see there's a little bit of a depth here and then there's one right here so there's like there's a cheek muscle here basically so this is a uh, this is it's kind of sunken in and it's kind of sunken in right here and then down under here now i think on a live fish that probably wouldn't be quite so sunken because these heads shrink quite a bit once they've uh, set up for a while i mean this fish when i caught it i could almost get my fist in its mouth that's how much it shrunk up uh maybe not quite but it was a lot closer than that <laughs> Okay, um, I think I'm at a stopping point today. I may do a little bit of work off camera, but um, I wanted part two to be getting the shape down to where I want it. And I think I've got that. Um, it's still a little wide in the head, but I think once I start carving the gill detail, it'll start narrowing up some. But, and I've got it drawn on on this side so you can kind of see what I've got to do and I don't I still need to draw it on this side to make sure the eyes are symmetrical and the gills are, are all symmetrical but I'm going to start carving in the detail and um, on both sides and at some point I'm going to cut the jaw off to carve the inside of the mouth and I I'm going to I'll make a mark here where it'll be. So basically, I'm going to cut down and over. So it'll be just in front of this. And that's in no danger of getting in an area where there's going to be scales. Uh, because I don't, when I attach this back, I use Bondo. So I don't know how well, I don't want to get it in where there's going to be scales because I don't want to have to burn through. Uh, Bondo, which I don't know if it will or not, but uh, I think that'll give me enough room to get the detail I need in the jaws and in the gill rakers. And if 
if y'all know of anybody or if there's a video out there that shows how to do the gills on this I, let me know in the comments because I haven't been able to find one and I haven't decided how I want to do it yet I think I, I'm leaning towards carving the gill rakers separate and and then gluing them in, epoxying them in and, and blending them with the uh, epoxy sculpt or I may just carve them in place and I don't I think it's going to be easier to carve them outside I hadn't even found any videos where they're doing reproductions because I know the reproduction mounts have a separate piece but it's it's molded as part of the uh, as part of the mount but if you know of any please let me know um, and I probably won't know until I get this jaw off how I want to approach it uh, because I'm thinking more and more that I do want to be able to see light through the gills like you would let me get this mount here like you can let's see if I can get it up here where you can see it I want to be able to see through the gills there you go so um and I'm looking at the gills in here, how they attach. And I'm just thinking it may be easy to do, um, it may be easier to do them separate and then attach them after I hollow it all out and get the, the roof of the mouth detail down. So, um, I don't know. I guess I'll make that decision once I get that jaw off and start hollowing it out, and then uh, I'll I'll make that decision then. I just don't think it would be easy to carve them in place here. So, um, but I'll, I'll find out. <laughs> there will be a video <laughs> now that exists. So uh, whether it's right or wrong, there's going to be one. But anyway, I'm going to stop there uh, on this part of the video. And I'm going to keep continue working today, but um, I'm going to go ahead and start a new um, part tomorrow. And uh, I'll show working on the gill detail, uh, carving the gill detail in, and possibly shaping up the tail a little bit. And uh, then it'll be close to being on to um, carving the uh, fins. So anyway, I'm going to stop there, and uh, I, I really appreciate y'all watching, and uh, if you would, hit that subscribe button for me, and uh, thumbs up, as always, and um, leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you know of anybody or any videos that shows doing these gills, uh, just as far as I know, it doesn't exist, but um, anyway, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you on uh, part three. Turn this around this way.